All right, welcome to another video by Log Analysis Made Easy Lame Creations. We're going to give real life tutorials on how to use the SPL commands, give you little examples and put you to work on them. We're gonna start with the most basic, which is the search command. Now, before we go into this, just remember, uh, we are using the bots V3 data set, which means you can go download this and put this on any Splunk instance and follow right along and you'll have the exact same data. So anyway, let's go and perform this tutorial. The search command. We're going to start by using index equals bots V3. And I'm just going to go head 100 grab the first 100 values, and I'm just gonna go all time. And this is my first example of using the search command. You're probably gonna say, really? I don't even see the search in there. Well, what you find is that search is actually implicitly implied when you do a command. And it just wiped it right out. The first search is always implied. Now let's show using a second search so we could come along here and i'm going to switch this up we could do something like app dns so i could come along here and i'm going to take out this head 100 and i'm going to go search app equals dns That's going to bring back all of the logs that have DNS in them with app. Now, to be completely fair, this must, some of you might be saying, couldn't I just put this right up here in my search in my first line? Yes, you could. I'm just giving examples so that you understand where the search command could be used. Other places where the search command can come in value is if you're making REST APIs or TSTATS commands or metadata commands. And we'll cover every one of these, but I'm going to show really quick a uh, metadata command. This is going to quickly search all of my data in, in the index bots v3 and grab all the source types really, really fast and bring back the results. What if I want to find just the source type of stream? Well, no, you might think, well, maybe I can go stream like that. And you'll notice it ignores that. It still comes back. What if I do search source type equals stream now the results are nothing more than the streams if i do a metadata if i do an api call same concept so i might do this to what i'm going to do is i'm going to generate data and then based off what i generate i want to run some other splunk commands on it searching i will use the search command here another example what if i want all of the source types that have 382 total count. I know, let's do that. So I can go search total count equals 382. And back it comes. All right, let's use one more example. I'm gonna jump over here. We're gonna, we're gonna grab just the lookups from search. We're going to go grab IP Intel. And so if I want to grab that lookup, I would do input lookup, give it its name, IP Intel.csv. And then if I run that, I get back all these values. What if I just want the one where the IP is equal to 10? Well, I can do IP equals 10 and it throws a fit. 
what I do is I do search IP equals 10. And back come the results. All right. This command is going to be a very basic command. You really need to use it. You need to understand it. Real quick summary. All of your commands that don't start with a pipe, like this starts with a pipe, so that doesn't count. But if I did index equals bots v3, that is an implied search. Search is being written right there before it. You can also use it afterwards to refine the values. Hope this tutorial was helpful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we're going to continue to roll these videos out and cover the entire lexicon of Splunk. Anyway, so I hope you keep, uh, you keep coming back.